So today I'm talking about a P0882 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0882 code? Well, it's a TCM power input signal low. And what does this mean? Well, basically there's a computer called the TCM or transmission control module. Basically all the transmission control module does is just control all the functions for the transmission. So it's going to tell it when to shift, when to upshift, when to downshift. It's going to engage the clutch and it's going to regulate the pressure going to all the different solenoids inside the transmission and, and things along these lines. It's going to get all its input from different sensors like speed sensors. It's also going to work with other control modules like the engine control module, which is going to tell it what the RPMs of the engine are and different things like this. And when you get this P0882 code, for some reason, the main computer is seeing that the power going to that transmission control module is low. And so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0882 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is that there is some kind of power supply issue. And this is going to be like a bad battery. The alternator's not charging correctly. There's a bad ground wire going to the transmission control module or something along these lines. And so first thing to do is go check out your battery. Be sure that it's good. Also check out these battery terminals and be sure they're not corroded or anything like this or really dirty and that they're on their tight because it is common that these get corrosion on them and they just make a bad contact and they just need to be cleaned up. But first thing to do is be sure the battery's good and that all the battery terminals are good. The next thing to do is to check the alternator and be sure that it's outputting correctly. And basically to do this, if you have a multimeter, you just start the vehicle up. You check to see what the voltage is at the battery terminals. And most alternators are going to put out like 13 and a half to 14 and a half volts. Usually if the alternator output falls inside that range, then it means it's good that there's no issues going on there. You can look up what your specific vehicle's alternator output is supposed to be and then match that to this and be sure that it is correct. Also, some vehicles nowadays, they also have what's called smart alternators. And so you might have to look up what the rated output is on those vehicles. But for most vehicles, as long as the voltage output is 13 and a half to 14 and a half volts, then usually that means that the alternator is outputting correctly and that there's no issues there. Because the next thing to go and check is be sure that the alternator is charging correctly. The next thing that could cause this is a blowing fuse, mainly that transmission control module fuse. So if you can locate that TCM fuse on your particular vehicle, since there will be differences, then go and be sure that it's good. It can also be a good idea to check any other fuses that might be computer related. So this would be anything labeled like ECU, ECM, of course, TCM, things along these lines, because the next thing that could cause this is a blown fuse. The next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of wiring issue going on. And this is gonna be something like an open, a short, there's a bad connection inside of here or something along these lines. Sometimes when these transmission control modules are located up inside of the engine bay, sometimes oil or grease can leak on them and things like this. And while these are supposed to be tight, sometimes it can get inside of there and it can cause issues. So if you think this is the problem, you can't take those connectors off, check them out, be sure they look like they're good, different things like this. If you do remove those connectors, be sure to be careful because the other side can have really small pins. And when you go to push in the harness connector, it could be easy to bend those pins. But if there's a bad connection, then that's going to cause problems. It can also be inside the wires that are running around, going around to all the other computers. There might be an open inside of here or something like that. A wire could be rubbing on the frame and, and over time it's become bare and it's shorting out or something along those lines. But the next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring issue. The next thing that could cause this is a bad transmission control module. And the transmission control module might have just failed. It might have just gone bad and just need to be replaced. It's really going to vary where these are located. They could be located like up inside the vehicle, behind the glove box sometimes. They could be located inside the engine bay. They can even be located up inside the transmission itself. One thing that happens with these computers and these vehicles sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes, is that when they fail, they get burnt components on the board like a resistor burnt up or a capacitor blew up or something like that. Like I said, this doesn't happen all the time. They can fail and you don't see any burnt components on it, but this does happen sometimes. So if you can go up around that transmission control module and you could smell a burnt smell, well, then it is possible that that transmission control module has gone bad and that it's having some kind of issue because the last thing on the list is going to be a bad transmission control module. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to make a basic video on how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0882 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.